Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where we are continuing to build the biggest and the best transportation company in the whole entirety of Australia. Last episode boys, we set up our first train lines over on the east coast. <laughs> <laughs> Last episode I called Perth on the East Coast and I'm such a damn fool here for doing that and I didn't even realize until you guys lit me up in the comment section down below. But uh, we're on the East Coast, our first train lines, which are setting up a pretty good run. We're actually making exuberant amounts of monies. And if you missed last episode, what we've done is we've kind of set up a train line recently all over on the West Coast, guys. Come on, get it right. Uh, and eventually we'll hook them up with a high-speed train line, which will be connecting through where the current train line here ends uh, to the East Coast side of it. And obviously to be able to do that, we need kind of systems and expansions and networks on both ends before we you know do the middle bit now basically what's happening over here is we are uh, running a train line from all these coals over here a train line from all these ores all the way into producing steels and then we're taking the steels to the machines and then we're also bringing uh, wood planks which is being produced over here and we're bringing the wood not from there all the way from over here because it makes a lot more cash money moolah boys a lot more cash money moolah right now and then in return we do have the ability to produce machines we're not producing them just yet because we're not getting adequate amount of deliveries we need more trains uh but we eventually um, get them delivered to mildura now what we're we doing in today's episode well we're going to get them delivered to mildura once we've increased the amount of trains on the current network we're going to fine tune this a little bit more there's a few ways in which we can improve this and i want to start sorting out this bottom end here now what i want to do is eventually Right, this is eventually, guys. Uh, hook up Mildura to being a big transport hub for passengers, which we transfer over to the west coast of Australia. But to be able to bring passengers there, we have to first create our train network for passengers around this area first anyway. But we also have to kind of dance around the cargo network too, which makes it really, really difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to first start down here, and we're going to have a swooping line that comes down like this in a big U-shape. So eventually we'll have a line that maybe starts in Adelaide, comes down to Portland, to Melbourne, up to Albury and to Wagga Wagga. We'll have a train line that goes from Adelaide through Mildura, Wagga Wagga, Canberra into Sydney. So they all crisscross and all that, but it's most important that we get this U-shaped line set up. Now, we have to build that and also try and integrate the cargo line. And I also want to get this vehicle run, all these vehicles off this current food line and replacing them with a train line. Oh, it's going to be difficult, boys. And if we can do all that, we can then also get the tool plant over here up and running because I want to then switch back and forth. The, I want to deliver this wood to over there. And then this wood to over here, which is what we're currently doing, to then take them planks up to there and then bring these tools down to Melbourne. Guys, what I'm saying is right now, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do, okay? There's a lot of stuff we need to do. Now, if you are enjoying the series and want to see more, then make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when more episodes do come out. Now, before we do anything right now, we're going to see if we can increase the influx of goods delivered um to the machines factory now how it works right now is we have one line doing both is it this train it's not that train we have one line here doing both so we've kind of kind of connected this train here to pick up the planks to deliver them to go then back and pick up the steel to deliver it and then back and forth vice versa you get that you get the gist of it boys but we need more stuff being delivered so what we're going to do first then is up the numbers right hold on up the numbers of our ore route so we're going to duplicate the train on this so duplicate and then our coal line we're going to manage the vehicles we're going to duplicate the amount of vehicles on this by one that means you now get double the amount of goods being delivered to produce double the amount of steel that at least that's what you would think would be happening now, what I also want to do is take the wood line here, because there would be a lot of wood on here as well. And we're going to manage this, and we're going to duplicate a vehicle on that. So we've got now an extra train on those three lines to bring the raw goods in. Once we start making exuberant amounts, we'll then try and see if we need to, one, increase the capacity of the train that picks these both up. 
two add a second train or even three separating it and having individual lines that could also be the way to go forward about it now if we when we do go down that road i'm going to separate the lines to it so they're not utilizing our main line so make it as efficient as we possibly can so leave that for a minute let it run through and we'll see what we kind of get out of it what i'm now going to do is da, 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 go to our vehicles here we're going to select the portland grain the portland food and then we're going to select all the vehicles and sell them vehicles are now gone i also then need to select the adelaide food because that's something else we got on here currently and sell you goodbye I'm then going to delete those lines. So you, uh, Portland, where is it? Portland, grain, Portland, food. Oh, no, cannot, okay, I can't select them all at once. I'll have to delete them individually. Portland, food, goodbye. It was nice to know you and Adelaide food because we're now going to try and revamp them with a train line. How am I going to do this? Honestly, I don't exactly know. But let's just get rid of all this stuff that does cost us money to run and maintain. So get rid of you. Uh, we'll get rid of the vehicle stop there and get rid of you as well. So we're going to have to break this down right now to be able to kind of get this all up and running. And this is where the challenge is going to commence. Because in one hand, I've got to try and run a passenger line all through this. And on the other hand, we have to also run a cargo line around it. So the cargo line is not technically going to connect fully to the passenger run. It's going to be difficult and we are going to have to cause some um destructions right now and it will mean that we have to maybe uh, realign this but we got to figure everything out so in terms of the food it's actually quite difficult to get a train line here because of how short the distance is but if we do it all correctly we should still make some type of you know money the reason i want to do it by trains is because we can deliver in bulk so whether or not we make money or not that's a different story i can get the goods delivered in bulk so we can combine these two farms here into one station and deliver it. And then somehow we've got to try and combine these two farms into one station and deliver it to there, which is so close, it's going to seem impossible. Now, before I build that, I'm going to kind of plan out the train line for passenger-wise. It's going to be very important that we do so. Uh, and my concern is not running through here. It's going to be pretty easy. It's when we get to Melbourne, where and how we then get to Albury. So I think we utilize this side here running through, going down, just kind of skipping past the edge of this farm and then running in on the coastline and then using the elevation of this coastline here to turn it into a tunnel that then eventually goes up to Albury. That's probably the best idea, but it's going to cost me an absolute fortune right now to implement this idea. So first things first, we're going to get the terrain. I'm actually going to delete this little bit of the road here that's a good job i've got a big chunk of cash money right now right because you know we would all be crying we would all be crying with what i'm about to do so up the brush size we will smoothen it all down we'll kind of go quite large here so don't worry about the elevation of this being so dramatic because we're going to smoothen it anyway so it will be on a slight little slope it will be on a slight little slope. Now, the question is, the trains. Now, we do eventually want to implement and have, obviously, the cargo come into here because that is how we exactly kind of get the goods delivered to Melbourne. Once you get to cities, you kind of have to then combine them. But, the, you know, but that's just the, the lines that deliver the goods. So, we've got to be a little bit careful about this. And we're going to need... A normal line and we're also gonna need a bypassing line at the same time so if I just implement the passenger station we'll make it fairly large because this is gonna be a large city you gotta remember the destruction that I do cause now will have ten times the growth moving forward so I reckon we pull it about about there I'm gonna go I'm gonna say here, I'm gonna go here. Oh actually I can kind of maybe come in a little bit on that little bend. Yeah, we'll go in a little bit on that bend. Cause it then kind of then 
allows me to suck or sink the building into the little dip that we've got created. Right. Two million just for that alone, and I haven't even built the rest of it. <laughs> so, <coughs> as I slowly choke, I've just realized I'm going to have to delete it again now. I've just realized because I didn't have high speed selected. Now, it makes no difference because we're not going to have high speed trains coming in. But I rather build high speed in case you have trains bypassing. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Right, anyway, boys, let's configure this. Let's configure this right now. So configure high speed train tracks. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Now, what we'll do is we'll implement the. Do I implement the last one to be in a cargo platform? I think so. We'll implement the last one to be in a cargo platform, and that's how we then bring and utilize both sides of the platform for passenger and cargo. All right, flatten that out a bit more. And then smoothen it. There we go. And then add in the cargo. Because we're not going to be picking up goods from here. It's purely the platform there is to drop off. That's purely what the platform is. And then we're going to have to kind of bend it round, Which does mean then deleting you, you, and you. But the city will... The city will, you know, bounce back. Is the better way to pull it. So train track wise. Like how's the city going to bounce back? Sonny? <laughs> you want to explain that right now? So if I bring you to here. So this is the main line. Okay. The main line. We have to bring this slightly out with it. And then bend into it. As long as there's going to be no issues. Like that. And then this we kind of want it to then go into a tunnel like there which is perfect for us and then the rest is history the rest is legit going to be history so you go like that you go like that and then that side is then done we just allow melbourne to then kind of like figure itself out <laughs> what it's got to do um to kind of work out in the long run I mean, we can kind of help it out. I know this is a lot of destruction that I'm doing. I get it that it's a lot of destruction. And smoothing helps the landscape slightly. And for some reason, Melbourne's built on a big hill. Is, is, is Melbourne like this in real life? Does it, is it like hilly? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. But that all filters in. And it goes into a tunnel, which will eventually pop up for Al uh, Albury. Is it called Albury? Yeah. Um... But that's a headache for another day, okay? That's a headache for another day. I now just got to get it to run this way. Now, I don't know whether to make this pop into a tunnel and pop back up to reduce and minimize the amount of destruction that we do cause. We will see what it would suggest. So, it would suggest no. And even if I did pop it down, it's going to be a bit of a pain. So what I might do is just delete all this road, run this directly through. I know it's uh, it's quite awkward. Actually, where am I running it to? I want it to run that way. So I bring it to about there. And then run you... What's going on here, boys? Run you the... Why is it not snapping? It didn't want to snap there. That, that just goes to show you that the elevation really wants to change itself. So if I go to here, to here, and then do a crisscrossy here. When you got like tight little areas like this, you can't play around. You cannot play around. Uh, with the space. So you just got to squeeze it in where you can squeeze it in. Now, we might be able to get a few little connections. The passage there is not possible. It's too steep there. Which I get it. I understand. I mean, look at it. 
You can kind of smooth as much as you can. But we do need to connect these both sides up anyway. We, we've got to connect them up somehow. And, I mean, that would be perfect. But the issue is, it jumps on the crisscross. But I reckon we can push the crisscross back a little bit. So how is this... I was about to say, how is the slope too much? But now I just realized the slope. Right, hold on. Actually, we'll do it ourselves like this. So if I run to here to there. So they'll build their own little Chrissy Crossies anyway. They will build them themselves. But I'm just trying to give them a little bit of a helping hand. I know there's a lot of destruction right now for Malbon. But that works. That works, that works, that works. So crisscrossing happening here. Apparently, apparently no. Crisscrossing not happening here. <laughs> What's I can do it one way, but not the other. Am I like way too close? If I go as short as you can. Right, I've gone as short as you can there. What's going on? What is the issue here? Huh? I think I might have messed this up now. <laughs> I think I feel like I might have messed this up. These are on different heights, aren't they? Are they? No. What is the issue here that I can't crisscross? Okay, if I go super long. Too much. What are you talking about? Too much curvature. Right, we'll build them together. Because there's definitely an issue here. There is definitely a little bit of an issue. That is stopping me doing what I want to do. Too much of a slow... What? They're the same level! Boys, they're the same level. What are you talking about right now? What are you actually talking about right now? Is it the road messing me up? I wonder if it's the road slightly messing us up. What? Right. Boys, permission to lose my marbles? Permission to lose my marbles right now? Right, these are the same. I have done them the same. Oh, all of a sudden it now works. All of a sudden it now works, boys. Funny that, right? Funny that. Right, Sonyak, stop crying. Stop crying, Sonyak. Right, there we go. <laughs> right, we got there in the end, boys. I have obliterated Melbourne, but it might it, it is most likely, most likely going to become the biggest city on the the east coast. Well, it's the south coast now, this isn't it? But on this side of Australia. Anywho. That's now going to run down to here, which I'm not too fussed about that. I think we can leave this kind of for now, but I am, I am going to cause destruction and bring it through here and let it then lead out. Uh, but we're not running a cargo line this way. We're bringing the machines in, which means that this is ultimately going to run down to there, bend up and go that way. If I just quickly get a strip in. Just to make sure that we're matching the same height. Don't do this to me. Right, this should now run perfectly over to here. Right, glorious. So the reason I need that is because I then need to figure out where the positioning for the food's going to go. But I also need to make sure that we can also deliver food to other cities moving forward. Now, it means I have to bring this line down and connect into there. Obviously, to go this way. And the line's got to go 
this way and also turn in slightly it becomes a little bit of a pain you know what i mean which does mean i've got to then rejig all of this so if i sort out where this line is going to come down to which means i'm going to delete all of this back to there right that's going to come down and it would be nice for it to pop out. There we go. The bridge just there. That's keeping it straight, but the straight bit is not going to happen. And we then bend it. So if I bent it like this. That's a 50 to a 60. There we go. You somewhat keep a little bit of speed. It's not much speed, but it, it all helps. That leads that way, which is fine. I can do when it comes this way as well, but this is going to be more of a tighter bend. But it will still do the job for us. So that will still do the job for us. Comes in like that. That's just like the main line. I've got to do everything that then comes off it and around it. But that's all I need to get situated in for this part here now. So let's then forget this for a minute. I know this is going to go against it, but let's now fix this wood root. Now, this wood line is important because it picks up the wood from over here, which is utilizing these two, if I click on it, them two there, and delivering it to over here. Now, if we can situate it where, as it drops off, it then picks up a full load of wood from these two to deliver it over there. I've then got two sawmills producing. Then this sawmill, the wood it produces, will be delivered up to here to produce tools, which will then bring it all the way back down uh, to Melbourne, 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 um, for them to kind of have their delivery. Now, I've got to try and combine these which uh, is obviously easier said than done. So where's the back end or the back end of this? Let me utilize the terrain. Um, is this the flatten? So let me flatten it slightly at the back of it so I can get a road built on it. So the road is there. Can these roads connect? They can. So I have something that I can build around here to maybe connect up a train line. So if I run this through in a straight line. Now how high is this? It is con considered considerably quite high. But that's fine. Because all it's got to do is connect to the main line. So what I'm going to do now is make it eat into the mountain. There's a huge reason for that. There is a huge reason for it. So if I just smooth all of this now. Push this mountain side back slightly. There's a huge reason for that because I've got to try and get them to connect to a long station. That's the difficult part. So, building wise, cargo station. So, if I go super long, because we're going to have goods being on the platform. Right. And if I first focus on making it connect, so it won't connect to the second forestry. So if I, I'm trying to turn this then, why did it not turn? If I get you like this, right, we're not connecting to that second forest area just yet. But if I edit this to include a cargo building here, 
but he doesn't connect to the road so it's st again it still makes no difference whatsoever right now but if i delete you and then have a road go from here to there obviously not sunken down not sunken down that connects to there that little connection at the very end is enough to reach that forest which is perfect we're now connected to it that is close enough that it should be really easy to get that connected but that is all that they're done so let's just kind of sort this area out a bit more smoothing it all off by smoothing from the top of the mountain takes away the harshness from the bottom of the mountain and it all looks like it's a part of it it's it's it's, it's a lot more difficult than you think this it is a lot more difficult than you think so i'm now going to delete this as the levista baby which is going to cause us even more issues in the long run um is there a there's like a slight little train section there isn't it yeah it's moving all that off it's like it never even existed so this, we've got to bend round to connect this to under there. Not a problem, he says. Not a problem, he says. But we're first going to have to connect this up to here. So I'm wondering if I first just simply implement a little connection there. Because you want to get the connection as far as you can to it. And then maybe bend that up. Maybe not have a tunnel. I do fight the urge so bad to not have tunnels. But I've implemented some tunnels anyway, so that's my allotted amount of tunnels in today's episode. <laughs> that there is enough to connect to all three, which is perfect. So let me just configure this station real quick. So tracks. Because we need two platforms. Because we also pick up uh, the planks from here. Which is perfect. And then we need to run this train line in. So I reckon what we do is I run it off here. And then merge it in just to kind of slightly keep it separate. So the gradient for this is too too way too crazy oh you don't realize how much of a drop this actually is in reality do you you don't realize how much of a drop that actually is right okay i'm just gonna pump this out a bit more moving all of this give ourselves a bit of land to kind of seat down on because it makes it easier then to kind of drop it so I bring you to there bring you to there and then we still somewhat gotta wow you don't realize how much it does drop off so we're definitely not connecting down here straight away. That main line is a bit of a pain though, isn't it? So I wonder at what point it does become the connection. So if I ran that to here. So the road is a little bit of an issue there for us. Because it tries to drop it down more than it needs to. So it has to go above the road. Okay, it has to go above the road, which then would mean this can go back a bit more. So if I went to here...
I've got no choice, have I? I'm, I'm just going to have to bend this in myself. And what type of bridge do I go with? That bridge does up the speed limit slightly. And I'm seeing how much I can get rid of the bridge. About there. Oh, boys. <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Well, I kind of forget. That what works for one side, most definitely might not work for the other side. So I'm going to keep it like that. And then run this into there. So the tunnel begins there. But even the slope there is way too much. So it's like at this point, why am I even then building the tunnel? You know what I mean? Why am I even building the tunnel at this point? That would be my argument then moving forward. What's the point of building that tunnel? Like, seriously. Because if I started to elevate up and up there leading out, that would reach on this normally. Right, boys, forget all this. Right, forget this. This is going to be a huge pain to do. Just delete it to where it turns off. Right, tunnel was good. And the only reason I've built a tunnel <clears throat> was to connect to this. But now I'm no longer doing that. I wish it was the easy way to delete a lot of this. Get rid, get rid, get rid. Get, is it all gone? Oh, it's a tree. <laughs> right, that's now all gone. So, if I... I mean, there probably will be the odd little tunnel here and there. But let's just see where it naturally comes from. Don't want a huge bridge. But if I can bridge it just over this, change it to that bridge... I can I can also move the road. Well, that's going down. That's going up. That's maintaining a straight line, and we pop it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, you fool! All right. No tunnel. No tunnel. Alright, sweet, sweet, sweet. So we're going to have to sink the roads. And you know what? Guys, this is the reason why we need to build a tunnel. <laughs> this is the reason. No, it's fine. It's actually fine because you delete back to here. What side of the train tracks is that on? So I'm just going to delete to there. Right, this actually works out a lot better, believe it or not. This actually works out a lot better. So push this all the way back to there. Right, if I get this to run directly to here, now you'll see where the issues now lie. But it will be a lot better. It will be a lot better. So if I could first initially... You don't want to go up. That's the issue. You don't want to go up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this road here, connecting. Delete that road there, connecting. Which then gets rid of all the issues of technically connecting. So that would go to there, but there was a collision. Where's the collision? So if I'm now gearing this up. 
to go as high as we can. There we go. Where's the tunnel? There we go. Get rid of you and connect. Oh, that's where the collision was. Running this into there. So it's still super high. But look at that. It's now not as ridiculous. So I'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. So if I pick here to connect into you. See, now it's a lot better. And all the elevation changes now work to one another. Yes, we have to now sort out the roads, but I think that's what it was mainly the issue was, is the roads being a little bit of an issue for us. The roads are playing a huge problem. We were trying to have to like connect over a road, which was throwing all of our alignments out. So give priority to the trains and build the road network around them. <laughs> right, that's good. That's good. We'll keep it like that. We'll keep it like that. So we're going to connect this in next. And this might change depending on how we bring the other line into it coming from the food. But for now, it can just remain like this. So much better. Holy moly. Right, let's actually make some progress now, boys. Oh, man, who would have thought this area would have caused so many issues? I do need to connect the road network back up. Okay, I've not forgotten about that. Not forgotten about that. But let's just now sort out what was originally coming down here. So we originally had the Perth Wood. Albany Perth. No, not Perth. What are the name of them? Actually, it's easy to select over here. Is it, what's it called? Is it called Mildura? Portland Wood. Which, is that even going to Portland now? Manage the line. Portland no longer exists. So we add the station here, which is Melbourne West. So we'll actually now call this... Mal... Born... Because it, it's spelt like you say born. Malborn, Malbin, Melbourne. Uh, it's funny triggering the Australians. So, Malbin Wood. Done. So, that's now implemented. We do need to do a Chrissy Crossy. Apple Saucy. And I don't know if we'll be able to implement it on, on a bend like here. Where's the snap? Okay, that's all good. That's fine. So, that relieves that issue. My other issue is the steel one. So the one that would have come over here. So rather than go to Portland there, we get rid and then we add a station here and get to use both sides. So we can now press play and then we're back to normal. Okay. We're now officially back to normal. All issues now gone. So this should for the first... Oh, actually, this can't actually make anything. Why is that so high in the sky? Holy smokes. So all I want to do... Oh, no. This is going to be my next issue. Oh, no. That's fine. It connects to it, but I'm going to delete that. And do it again. That is crazy high, right? That is crazy high. That must have been built on like a, a slight little hill and then just completely ruin everything around it. Right, that now connects to there. So if you start seeing planks being placed on this. Oh, actually, I don't know if the line actually does it. No, it can load and unload, which is completely fine. We just got to give it time. There we go. Planks now on that platform. It's working. Right, good, 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 good. Let's just connect up the roads again so we'll delete it back to there now i don't have the ability oh no i do have the ability right now to build the country roads so that is going to go into and it would be nice for it to turn into a tunnel now right 
So what we want to do here... No ownership, by the way. So we'll go to there. You're directly up. So it is it is going to be a criss crisscross. To there. Delete you, delete you. To here. To there. So the roads are back now being connected. As painful as it is to sort this area out. This area has now been sorted out. <laughs> <laughs> so that when I get back on it, but the main thing is, from all of this, we've planned out where the passenger line is going to run. We've connected to the main line. We are going to try and keep them separate, but in some areas and cases and scenarios, it's going to be a little bit difficult. And some areas we will have to combine them. But we now are going to be start well have the ability to start producing planks here, which is important because I'm going to deliver them up to there once they start getting adequate amount of deliveries. But you've got to give it time. You've got to give it time. So while we wait for that time to happen, let's now sort out the train line to deliver the food to over here. Now the passenger line is going to run through, and then it's going to pace itself up in that direction. So there's definitely got to be something that we can do here to combine these all together. Um, but keeping that separate, because I want this to run down this way. But I've just got to try and combine these on one train station. I can't see how this is going to be possible with how I want to do this. So let me just first figure out the possibility. Oh, okay, it's going to be possible to con connect those. So I'm going to delete this road now because we don't technically need the road there at the minute. Um, how far can that road go? So I've got to also do it where it doesn't technically connect to this. Because I need to be able to, no, I need them to be able to drop off. And also, the further you place away, I need a bypassing route, so there's no point in doing that. The further you place it away, the more money you make. But again, that is also going to be a difficult thing. So if I place you here, right? Oh, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be hard. I thought the other one was gonna be difficult, but this one's gonna be even worse. So it's a cargo station where the passenger line will bypass through the middle. That's what's gonna happen here. So easy peasy to understand. It's just it's it's gonna be fine for the passengers. It's gonna be so difficult for the cargo to make this work. That's going to go there, and that's going to obviously bend down this way, cut through, and connect to there for the passenger line to make its way up to Adelaide. Perfect, 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 perfect. Fine, easy peasy, love it's crazy. <laughs> Cargo buildings. So this should be super easy right now. Like that. So this here connects to both, which is perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, this should be fairly easy. So, if I did something like that with the connection, all I've got to do with the train lines is spin this right round. And if I put it there, it touches both. And we'll do double tracks. Bam. So, the food will use the main line to be delivered to Portland and then maybe go up to Mildura, even on the way to Adelaide. But we'll have a separate train station or we can we can even maybe connect it to this, but it all depends. So the main line can there. This is gonna run this way. And this is why it's gonna be so difficult. So if train tracks were on the way to Adelaide. So that is the that is the official snap in a straight line. So if I get the snap in the straight line set up, 
all the way down to here. And then we might as well just quickly sort out the connection in. The crisscross just here. So ultimately, I know how far we've got to work with it. And obviously, that's going to go and connect up to that line. Standard edition. Simple. Now, we probably won't we won't be bringing anything. No, we will be. So we'll actually just kind of sort this out real quick. So make you turn to run somewhat straight there. You're there. This will bend in. That will bend in as well. Crisscross. No. Oh no, I'm deleting too much stuff. I got a bit trigger happy on the finger then, didn't I? Well, I'll do the crisscross here, just a little bit further down. Or maybe not. Or maybe not, boys. It becomes a huge pain, this does, doesn't it? It becomes a huge pain, this does. Oh, don't do this to me. Right. Don't do this to me. It's going to be no... It, this should be the, the most simplest thing here to connect. Honestly, it should. Right there. There. See what I mean? Should be the most simplest thing to connect. And obviously, that will run through Portland when we eventually get it all set up. So that's all in. We know where the crisscrosses lie and how we can utilize it. So this line here. I mean, to be honest with you, there is also a way in which I can kind of make them use that main line to pass through. And now then drop off there on a separate station. Come back, pick up, drop off there. I've got to have a separate station to move the food here to there. But the long winded process that right, right, okay. We've got it figured out. It's annoying. But it will work. It will work. And the other annoying thing is as well, is how big the train stations have to be. Oh, new vehicles. That's a shame. We're no longer using vehicles at the minute. All right, put you... I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, it does, because look at the height difference. Roads. All right, let's leave it like that for now, because it touches both. We're going to have to actually now pause... And do some destruction. So we're going to have to oof this side of Portland for just a minute. We'll come back and fix it. Okay, we'll come back and fix you, boy. Don't worry. We'll fix it. Don't worry. <laughs> and then we'll have to go for a smaller platform. Actually, go passenger. And if I... Oh, wrong button. If I can... Implement it how far back have we got to utilize? If I can implement it here. Bam. That should give us enough space. So if I delete oh, I gotta configure it to delete it. If I delete you to delete you. Platforms, bam, bam. Right. Track wise. This goes out to there. Tunnel? Do we want a tunnel? I suppose we'll give it space for the buildings to grow. Why not? Uh, obviously on the main line. To where this... Ooh, this is going to be difficult. Right, we might have to... configure this one we might not be able to go as big as you would think we were able to go get rid of that because of the bridge oh, the 
slope is too much. Right. If I then configure this to... Right. And then delete you back a little bit. Add that on that far. I'd, oh, I don't even have the bypass and station set up. Oh, I've completely configured that train line completely wrong. I mean, that train station. Right, that works to there. To there. Right, that all runs through, but that train station there is not configured exactly how I want it. It should have a bypassing route. You know, very much like how this is. And how I've done it over there. But we can pick up there and we can make this turn in. So I'm actually going to change this road connection. And then buildings, cargo station. Only need to be one. No, actually we'll do two. Spin it right round and put this as far away from that train station as you can. You're not going to make much money on that. But it's not the point. It's not the point. And that's going to be the bend there. It's, that is a ridiculous bend, isn't it? I don't like it. I don't like it. I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea that I'm going to implement now. So spin this right round to here instead. And then train tracks. We'll go from that one. Get right in. And then connect into there. So it's a big bend round. That is a lot better, isn't it? That is a lot better. So, so, there, so it's, that is so much better. It's so much better. It's very short, this run here, but it, it still should be okay. But it, it should give us long enough time with the way that we're going to connect it that both sides uh, will generate enough goods to deliver for the next time the train comes. I'm just not a big fan. <clears throat> Of how I've done this here. Which will annoy me. If I don't sort it out. Plus it also messes everything up. So it might be a case of where I've got to delete you, you, you and you. To implement this correctly. So configure. A bit annoying. But hey ho. Alright, we gotta extend the uh, the land as well. I was wondering if, if smoothing it was enough. Which I think it is. No, it's not. Oh, there we go. And then just come off this real quick, because the train line now needs to connect like to there. That needs to connect to there. I'm going to do these as short as I can. Because of the crisscross. See, this is, this is going to be my, my issue now. Is the crisscross. So if I go from there to there, which is enough to get it in. And then the slope is not adequate enough. So if I then go from here. I was hoping a longer run with it would change things. But another way in which I can kind of, I won't say solve it. 
What's going on there? It's to delete all this again. Right. So, delete all you. It's to rise it up. It's to bring it up as much as you can. And then get that to run that way. Should be no bridges. So by rising it up, it's meeting this halfway. So it hasn't got a drop as much. But again, you've also got to get the crisscrosses in. This is a bit more straighter now, so... I might say we could implement it, but... Sometimes you do have to go a little bit longer. Oh, don't do this to me. Alright, there we go. Unfortunately, we've got to go that distance. Oh, the slope is still too much. Oh, no, no, not like that. I wanted to smoothen it. So even though I've, I've kind of now slightly raised it, let me flatten the land. There to there is too much, apparently. So let me just come off this naturally. It already wants to eat into it, doesn't it? Right, there's got to be a way in which I can kind of... Right, let me come out of it and come back into it. There we go. So if I go to... If I come off it really, really short... There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, what was the issue the first time round? <clears throat> I will never know. I will never know. So that's <clears throat> that's all done. As I slowly choke on my own words, we're gonna go through this little hill right now. So connecting you up to there, connecting you back around to here, bring you in before the tunnel, in before the tunnel. We'll crisscross on the tunnel. Right, we can now actually get lines in. We can now actually get the lines in, boys. Because what this now means is we can hook the food run up. So we'll do that first. So new line. We're going to pick up food here, drop it off. Pick up food here, drop it off. And it will repeat the cycle again. That's literally what it does okay that's literally what it does and we'll make them um, utilize both sides obviously if there's you know trains on the way in the way all that kind of jazz and then obviously we need to then make sure and pick that it does the right platforms and we also need to implement signals i, I always forget the signals don't i so the second time it comes down to Portland here. So Portland. Oh no, it only goes to Portland once. Yeah, the signals will do the rest for us. The signals will do the rest for us. So I might as well get them signals in now. So we start here. We're on the left hand side of the road. So you go there. That's a, an issue. And oh, I don't know how this is going to work out because of of how close that all is. It's probably going to be an issue. Crisscross is there. So them signals go like that. So for now, it's just those. So I reckon that will be okay. For the most part. That should then sort itself out. And then be on the correct side. Which it all is going to be. Yep. 
Yeah. I don't like how they're using both sides on this one. Oh, because we don't have a crisscross over here, do we? That, that's why. Oh, am I going to be able to build a crisscross going up a hill? Yes. That sorts that out now, where it's not using both sides. Although it is. Because <gasps> I don't have a crisscross over on this side. What an absolute noob, Senia. And you say you know how to build a train company. Right, has that got rid of the issue? No. Um, right, you know what? Portland North, you can't use both sides. Portland, you can't use both sides. I don't like the idea of it. Oh, it's because I got them on the wrong side. I've got these signals on the wrong side. That's what it is. That's what it was. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. Signal. Does that now fix it? Yes. Good God, that was a pain, wasn't it? That was a pain, boys. Okay, that's now done. And let me just add a quick signal in here. There we go. Right, that was a pain. It didn't need to be a pain, but it was a pain. Let me see if I can get a train now to connect out this way so we're driving on the left which will go down that way good 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 and let's get our first train over here so we'll stick to we'll go for the free five on this one just because i know it's cheap to run and i'm not gonna have that many carriages and it's all about trying to reduce our bills on this lot of food line because i don't see how it's gonna make much money now, it needs to only carry grain, so we'll give it a 80 capacity and then see how we get on with it. So it is technically called line one. I'll rename it. Unable to find a path, which does make sense. I mean, you can turn in and go down here. Go that way. It depends where it's starting. It's route, isn't it? In reality. So if I got the train to... Right, if I set the line to, like, Melbourne Wood. Oh, wait, no. no it's, it's on to find a path. Even to the wood route. What? Wait, hold on. What's the issue of it? How can that find a route? Um, can it just not come out full stop? I want no one to say anything in the comment section. <laughs> I didn't add the engine. I didn't add the engine. <laughs> right, that's on there, right? I do need to connect the roads up, by the way, boys. I still need to connect the roads up. To <laughs> Just give me a second right now, okay? Give me a second, boys. All right, that's going to run straight through there. And we'll get that to connect into there. That connects up fine. We did destroy a lot of 
Portland right now. So I'm going to bring this out. Can I get that to bend up? Now, I'm having no ownership on all these roads, so... They do what they do, these roads. They do what they do. And then we'll bend... That is a connection. Obviously, this doesn't connect very well to over here, but... We'll see what we can do. In terms of a connection. For now, we'll leave it like that. Oh, hang on. we got this road here not connecting. Oh, how's this road going to connect? That's, that's going to be a, a funky one. Um, I mean, it technically doesn't need to connect anywhere. So I can just leave it now because there's another road that does connect it up. Right, play mode. We should then start seeing the grain being placed on these train stations, okay? Gonna quickly do a little bit of maintenance right now with the smoothing of these areas. I have caused absolute chaos and destruction. But grain will now be stored and we'll get that back up and running again. So give that a while before we do start delivering the food. If I wanted to deliver the food, I could do a separate train line. I would pick up the food here, deliver it to Portland, even deliver it to Mildura. And once we get the train line extended, we can deliver it to Adelaide. So that would be absolutely fantastic right now. That would be absolutely fantastic. The train is on the way down to take part in its routes. Perfect, 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 perfect. Right, that is now picking up the wood. And that will then deliver the tools. Well, it would deliver the planks up there. we got to then make it deliver the tools. So let's now sort out a little quick little train stop up here. So we'll go super long. That's not super long. That's super long. And turn it this way and leave it like that. Now the tracks, we just want to have a basic and simple turn off here. I feel like I didn't. I've, I've got to add all the signals again to what I've just done near Melbourne. I feel like we never did them. Right, I'm not going to do that because that is such a long. Actually, do you know what? It's not too bad. We'll just build it. Okay, it's easier to terrain it more than anything else. Like that. We'll quickly sort out this because it's only going to be a simple back and forth for this line. But it will share a line with turning this way for when we deliver the tools down to Melbourne. So make it run and connect for this first. Into there. We'll do the obligatory smoothing of the area. There we go. And it's like, it's not even raised at all at that point. It's like this area is not even raised at all. Move it down here real quick. Push all this out. Now, this one's a bit of a, I won't say a difficult one, but more of a long winded process smoothing all of this. Because there is technically a lot more going on.
Very good, very good, very good. So did I add the signals in? I didn't. I did not add the signals in, which is going to cause us major issues. So let's quickly add these signals in. So, right. Annoyingly, <clears throat> the vehicle is driving the right-hand side of the road. Annoyingly. But my train lines, I have chosen them not to. Alright, there we go with that. You're there with this. Oh, that will do there. Because there's no other train lines going anywhere else just yet, we'll just leave it like that for now. That train's scheduling around. I won't say it's making money yet, is it? Okay, it is. Okay, we could be heavily surprised. But I've now had to restart all of this. So you've got to give it now time. I'm about to restart the whole industry. Okay, so... That does get the delivery... But is it adequate enough to produce enough planks to get them delivered to the tools? But then again, I del I'm delivering planks over here. To this industry, which is still not enough. But then again, I got I've had to restart all of this. But there is adequate there. So we are producing more. We're just going to get it all hooked up. So, signals here then. So we lead out. As it gets to there, bam, and of course, bam, 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 bam. Right, we'll utilize that one as it, and then bam, bam. So running down here. And then the last one, just there. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So a new line. I've got to rename these lines, don't I? So we'll call. We'll, we'll actually call this one our Portland food line. No, Portland. Portland grain, because that is literally what it is. Then a new line from here to. <clears throat> <clears throat> there as I choke which is going to deliver my planks so I'm not sure what color to go with for planks so this will be it's Castle's Newcastle Newcastle planks and then color wise we'll just go with that one easy enough uh, we'll get it to use both platforms. Not a problem. Glorious. And we'll buy a train from over here for it. So this won't be huge. We'll go for the A335 uh, for now. Cargo. Delivering planks. We'll add an 80 capacity on that as well. And then we'll change it as we need to change it. So Newcastle planks. And then we can get a line to deliver tools straight down to Melbourne. But I'm going to rejig all this. It's taken me longer than it needed to do. So I haven't got time to kind of rejig it all. But I want to sort it all out. But let's first make sure that we are supplying adequate amount of goods. Now how much steel is here? There's a lot of steel. So you could argue this... No, no it's not that train. Is it you? Yes, you need to be increased. But the argument then could be we need a separate train for the steel and whatnot. But the other argument could be as well, well, what about the ore and the coal coming in? Because there's lots coming in, but I still don't think it's enough. I honestly believe it's still not enough. That's the new what that's the new um plank train, sorry, delivering the planks mode there for the tools. And it'd be nice to have some bypassing routes as well, like where it doesn't even go to the station. So this line delivering the planks. 
can run separately and go in and then have that also connected to the steel line. I think that's what we'll do before we up those numbers. That's what we'll do. Right, is this making money? It is, weirdly, it is making cash. But we've had to restart this whole process. We've, we've dramatically had to restart this whole process on this one side. So now you've got to get those shipment numbers all the way back up again. But it works out fairly well. We've got it all situated in place. Took longer than it needed to, boys. Took longer than it needed to, but it, it does set us up. It does now set us up. Oh, we've got to make sure that Melbourne line, Melbourne wood, is only sorting out. Hang on. So when it gets to Melbourne West, it is unloading only wood and picking up only wood. That's all it needs to do, doesn't it? Because it's about to pick up planks. Yeah, there's planks there waiting for it. <laughs> it's going to take those planks, drop it off there for the, the tools line. Now, that's already picking up some. It hasn't made any cash just yet. So this is the first time it's going to be making cash, which is good to see. So it is working. It's slowly working. It's slowly coming together. We're slowly making money. It's just then fine-tuning it, making sure that we keep up with the rate. But we need to make this machines line here that gets the planks delivered and the steel separate to the main line. That would be a huge thing for us. That would be a huge thing. It would then mean that the, the ore can be delivered a lot quicker. It would really mean that. And you haven't got to have all this waiting around as well. Right, okay. So how are these lines doing then in general? There's one not making money, which is our Newcastle planks. Obviously, we've just created it and the train line had to choo-choo all the way up there. But everything else is doing pretty well. The Melbourne Wood one, now that we've added double trains and doubled up on itself, uh, is right up there. But we could definitely add more trains on that route. We definitely could. This train's coming in right now, about to make a little chunk of money. There we go, which ups it. So no stress about that. That will then eventually start producing food, which can deliver to Portland and will deliver it to Mildura. So I think it's going to have to be next episode, boys. Next episode, we'll get the food delivered to Portland and Mildura. We'll get the machines delivered to Mildura as well. But we'll have to create a separate line running on this. And then we'll get the tools delivered to Melbourne. Then we've got to think about how we can then create fuel to deliver to Portland and Melbourne. They've both then got their goods while also creating the passenger line up to Adelaide, which will also hook up the cargo line for food delivered and eventually fuel. Passenger line swooping down to uh, Albury and then eventually to Wagga Wagga as well. And then we'll go Adelaide, Mildura, crossing over Wagga Wagga, Canberra into Sydney and Newcastle. So it's all there. It's all coming together. We've got big plans. We've got some serious big plans. But we've got to implement them. We have to implement them. And just figuring this stuff out, while it is time consuming and took me way longer than it needed to be, it was very, very important to how the rest of this network is going to work. Once we've got all this sorted out, we'll then sort out uh, the West Coast with Perth. And then we eventually can hook them all up with a high-speed train network, which is going to be very, very, very exciting. Has Mildura grew yet? It hasn't really kind of grown anything right now, but nothing really is going on in this area, not until I get the goods being delivered. And how much of a hit did Melbourne take since I deleted that stuff? Took a bit of an industrial hit, but there's a lot and plenty enough there to get us all back up and running. So I'm not stressing too much. I'm, if, if anything, really, really excited. Now we're making we've got too much money in the bank. We've got way too much money and we're making too much money. We've literally our previous year was our most profitable, well, I say most profitable. Well, yeah, it is our most profitable, but our highest income year to date to 88.2 million. We're going to be pushing 100 million pretty quickly. It's a vast difference from our UK series, but UK was very small. These networks and lines are so big. They just make exuberance amounts of money 
this is amazing this is amazing boys we are gonna end it here right now i hope you have enjoyed this episode i know it's a bit of a long one but if you really love this series you're not gonna complain about it being a bit of a long episode uh this did make money previous year it's gonna make money this year as well so i think all my lines once a few of them completed their routes will be making some serious cash not too stressed about it biggest city in the game so far is currently of course it is perth melbourne is not far behind it considering that i'm not doing anything with melbourne and we are having machines and food delivered to perth melbourne's gonna have an expansion boys it's gonna have a serious expansion and i cannot wait until next time boys i will see you all soon so goodbye